Lab. Hey there! Welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. When you think of living things, plants, animals and fungi probably come to mind. But there is another living thing that is all around us. It's too small to see with our eyes, but it's in the air, on surfaces, on our skin and even inside our bodies. Can you take a guess at what it might be? That's right, it's bacteria. Bacteria are microscopic organisms that are made up of only a single cell. They're really small. Today, we're going to take samples of bacteria on different surfaces and grow them so that they're large enough that they can be seen with our own eyes. Bacteria reproduce when one cell splits into two cells. Under the right conditions, this can happen in a matter of minutes. One bacterium can multiply into billions of bacteria in a matter of hours. We'll use these sterile cotton swabs to wipe the bacteria onto the agar plates. Agar is a mixture of nutrients that bacteria loves to eat. It helps them to reproduce and grow. We're going to take samples from some common surfaces around the Lighthouse Lab area and watch the bacteria grow and develop. I've labelled each agar plate. We're going to be sampling a computer keyboard, a smartphone, a bathroom sink, a doorknob and a pedestrian crossing button. If the surface we're sampling is dry, we'll first put the cotton swab into some clean water. After this, we'll place the lids on the agar plates and place them in a warm area. Ideally, the temperature should be between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. That's about 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. You may want to use a heat lamp to keep a constant temperature. A worksheet relating to this video can be found in the link in the description. You may want to download it now and complete it as you watch this video. Okay, let's get sampling. Store your agar plates in a warm location and take photos of them for the next three days. Okay, so it's been three days and the results are in. We grew bacteria in a range of shapes, sizes and colours. How interesting! It looks like the computer keyboard and the bathroom sink were home to the most bacteria. I was surprised to see that the doorknob and pedestrian crossing button had small amounts of bacteria. Maybe people are washing their hands more these days. Some types of bacteria can be harmful to our health, so keep the lids of the petri dishes on while making your observations. When you're all done, seal them in a bag and place them in the trash. That was really good fun. 
Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab.